uh, we could get, uh, if you can come up with some changes in the next week or two at the most, we could even get a, approved by sort of a, a special meeting ahead of time if we feel as though it needs board approval or we could approve it. Do we need it. to approve it? No. I don't think I mean, I've ever approved it. Maybe we don't, need to, we don't need to have approval. I, yeah, maybe I, just have you guys work at it and I we just, so My you. main concern is that there's been a lot of mixed and, and I think a lot of misinformation. People have agendas that they've been trying mm -hmm. to use as the library as kind of a as an as a as a attack, you know, we're being attacked for things that we don't deserve to be attacked for. And I want to, I want to get ahead of that. And I want to not, I don't want anybody to use what they were, our, the accusations have been made as, as, as serving their own agenda. I want to, I want to be clear in terms of what we're doing and what we're doing, what we've done, and why we did it, and, and going forward, why. Well, then, if you we're put the last five years, these are the. These yeah. are the projects, yeah. major projects that have been funded with the reserve. Okay, so yeah. why don't as an we? Example, why don't we approve and, and the annual report? But ask you guys to do a last. I cut appreciate out that suggestion. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, I do the best to. I hope we can keep the facts of our budget. It's a very clear pie chart. There's no agenda in presenting the facts. I think it'd be great to have maybe additional text to explain what we've spent our surplus on, but. I think it's helpful to have a very clear pie chart, which I think you did a great job just sort of explaining the facts. I just think this this right only tells this doesn't tell the whole story, and, and that's the problem. Is it, it, it's it's okay. Uh, yeah, so, so one more one yeah. more try, yeah. and um, but then a quick question: Are they gonna is there gonna be more in depth online? Because I know in the past it'd be, or is this it? Because in, and, and the reason I'm asking is in the past what they would say is we're going to do a one-page summary and then we'll have far more details online. Is this it? Because we've had mixed messages as to what the annual report is going to be. I think this is it. I think this is the okay. report. Yeah. And, and also, I mean, we'll obviously, we've come from no annual report recently to, to what we're doing, and so it's still an evolutionary process. And I'm almost thinking, yeah, we, we'll, we need to have something to reflect. The, the financial situation, but that next year is the year we can do get more. But if you look at most library annual reports, they put right, but that expenditure but, there. But I, right, but we just we're, 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 we we shouldn't we we need to we need to um, grow into this versus just jump into what somebody somebody else is doing. I think anyway, but we can we can talk about. Thank you very much, Kathleen, for suggesting it the way you did. I think if we have time to kind of explore this a little bit further, we can figure out something that is accurate and and, and clearer. That you know that, that puts us in the right context, and that's what I'm concerned about. Okay, sounds good. So we will put our trust and confidence in you. <laughs> <laughs> Pressure's on. Thank you. Sure. Um, the last item is the um, complete cleaning company contract, mm -hmm. which is located uh, behind tab seven. This is a company that we have dealt with for many years. Um, and Anthony has experience with them as well uh, in other libraries. Uh, we have, as I understand it, been, you know, really very well satisfied with their work. Um, and so I don't know, is there anything, Anthony, we, you know, I, I realized when we started out this meeting something that I should have said. We went from the hearing to the, welcome right into the Anthony. meeting. But I wanted to say welcome. Yeah. <laughs> I would have said welcome in the discussion. You just and go right I will yeah. interject right here. Yeah. Please welcome. We are delighted to have you join us. This is your first board meeting, uh, first of many, 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 we hope. And um, we're uh, delighted to have you on board, and we are looking forward to the opportunity to work with you um, for the Wilmette Library community, the library, the patrons of Wilmette and so on and so forth. So thank you so much for joining us. Um, we're certainly delighted to have you there. And as I said, I should have said at the beginning, but we had sort of a bunch of things, and I sort of got a little distracted there. So um, would you like to talk about the complete cleaning company proposal, or is there anything, anything in addition? Um, any questions? I had done. Uh, I mean, if you want to go first. No, please go ahead. Yeah, I, I just asked um, a question whether we know um, you know, whether the employees, if they're, if we know their paid and living wage, if we know they get health insurance, if you had a chance to inquire with them, I think they're happy with us, but mm -hmm. I'm curious whether we, we know that or we could find out about that. 
Um, I did have an opportunity to um, call on Complete Cleaning and um, request that information. Um, Complete Cleaning um, does hire uh, part-time employees just like the library does, and part-time employees are frequently not extended the opportunity for health benefits, and that is the case in this instance. They're, they're below part-time. Um, they did confirm with me that their employees do make more than minimum wage, but he didn't go so far as to explain what the compensation is. I think for any number of reasons, he has multiple crews working at different organizations um, and maybe was a little reticent to share that information because they may have an internal merit process or whatnot for compensating their employees. So um, I do feel comfortable um, with this organization. As Kathleen indicated, I've worked with them um, at the Palatine Library. Um, I have about three years of experience with them. Um, anecdotally, on my first day here at the library in this room, um, we were doing a meet and greet with the staff, and um, Dave Wickman, um, our account executive, was actually walking through, um, looking in the corners for dust bunnies and stuff like that, um, mm -hmm. as he's wont to do. It's one of the value-added services that this, this company does. He does on-site visits um, to ensure that the customer is satisfied. Um, so um, I can attest that from my past experience at Palatine, they were an outstanding group. Um, the crews vary from organization to organization organization, but um, I was satisfied with their service there. The contract is nearly identical um, here that's represented before us today. Um, I do understand that um, the library did go out for public bid for cleaning services um, in uh, December of 2013. Um, and uh, prior to that, we had been with one company for about eight years, um, and we have been with Complete Cleaning in the time since then. So for the past five years, we've been with Complete. Um, they've only brought forward one pricing change in the last um, five years, um, and that was just a $500 increase um, three years ago. Um, so this year, it's the same price um, that they're offering as what they had last year. Um, from what I understand from the staff here, they're satisfied with the service, and I would endorse um, proceeding with this contract. And Dan raises an interesting point, though, and it's something, though, that I want to sort of maybe talk on the next one, bylaws and policies, and the policy manual as we sort of think about some of those kinds of issues and how to adjust it. But in the meantime, right now, let's get this contract approved. Can I get it? I have a question before we can set the amount. Do you know there are two additional services listed on the page number? Pages are not numbered, but it's in the, the pricing portion of the proposal. Do we have any kind of a measure or estimate of how much use we make of these additional services? This would be the uh, steam cleaning of fabric chairs, um, shampooing of the carpeting. Right. How often do we do that, and how much do we generally Not need much. for that? We use another company. Okay, so that's we not a part of this side. contract? That's not part of the contract. Okay, so an allocation of um, the amount specified in their quotation would be sufficient to cover this contract? This would be above and beyond. No. So what you're what you're asking is if you if your motion reads something to the effect of approve the uh, complete cleaning company in the uh, contract, you could just say as reference in payment paragraph three payment. Well, the issue is if forty five forty four ninety five per month is sufficient, then that's the amount that could go into the motion. If we need to anticipate the possibility of additional expenditures, then I would increase that amount by some reasonable estimate. Well, but because it's a not to exceed motion. How about a not to exceed five thousand? All right, then let I move that we approve the contract uh, not to exceed five thousand dollars per month. Okay, uh, it's been moved. Can I get a second? I'll second it. Uh, okay. Jenny. Uh, Trustee Wolf. Yes. Trustee Olafson. Trustee O'Loughlin? Aye. Trustee McDonald? Aye. Trustee Rogers? Yes. Trustee Johnson? Yes. Trustee George? Yes. Thank you. All right, those are the action items. Ron moved, and I seconded it. Thank you. And then Kathleen, real quickly, point of information. We didn't. We never approved the annual report. Did you want it? We didn't vote on that. On the what? On the annual report. Yeah, we don't know if we actually Well, because we're Okay, I wasn't sure if you wanted to bring it up for a vote, because it was listed as an action item. I thought we saw it. We could approve it. I sort of got the idea. Okay, that's fine, too. I just want to make sure we didn't skip over it because of the conversation. Okay. 
The next item is a discussion item, and it's our bylaws and policy manual. I have here for you our bylaws. I have here before you our policy manual. Mm -hmm. um, and are the, the, those the bylaws for the board or for the yes, library as a whole? The, the bylaws is for the board. Okay. The policy is for more the library, but then it references a lot of legal things in there, and it's sort of the board anyway. Mm -hmm. As I was reading through them, I didn't come across where it was sort of a little bit mushed together a little bit. Um, and Anthony, when he sort of joined us, said, oh, I want to read your bylaws and, and policy. And it didn't exactly match up in a number of different ways, either with what current law is saying, and there's some statutory references in there, and in, and in fact with what we, in fact, as the library actually do, mm -hmm. um, like the references fines, which we don't collect in those amounts. So there's a certain amount of cleanup that has to take place in these. Um, policy of the Board of Trustees, we might have things uh, like board attendance and things like that in here, which isn't referenced. And here, policy statement, is it, you know, what is the policy with respect to various vendors that we deal with? Obviously, when we have contractors, we, they're required to pay prevailing wage, and they have to attest to that. Um, do we, well, well, Matt has adopted a minimum wage ordinance. I, it does not apply to us, but I think there's a lot of virtue in it. But then how far do you drill down to that? Do you head drill down to companies who we do business with, Baker and Taylor? I have no idea what they pay their employees, and we really don't have any way of getting that. Is it different if we have employees who are b b contracts who are actually here in our building? So those are the kinds of policy things that I think it makes sense for us to look at in a comprehensive way. In the meantime, Wilmette is going to adopt an ordinance and for example, for particularly with something like we as I said, we don't have it doesn't apply to our employees, although I will say that when we did a salary revision, I made sure that we were going along with that for our level of employees. But it would, it might, or I don't know whether it would apply to a company like Complete Cleaning that's doing business here. So maybe the Wilmette ordinance, when they adopt it, would pick it up. I don't, hmm. I don't know that. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, I, you know, I just, uh, they're actually a new page. I don't know. In other words, so there's a lot of, like, question mark, question mark, question mark. And that's why I sort of said, okay, let's just get this done, and let's think about how that's going to work out. And maybe something that our attorney is going to want us to give us some guidance as well, because I think we've heard loud and clear several times from the Wilmette residents that they are strongly in favor of paying, you know, a li what I think is now made basically called a, a living wage, not a minimum wage. Mm -hmm. So um, that but, long yeah. introduction is to saying, like, this can't be done in, in a meeting, I no. mean, a board meeting like this. So we need to develop a plan of attack on this one. Mm -hmm. I know nobody's doing anything during the months of January. You can't go outside. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess one of the things that Anthony said was he was going to look at he looked at some of our some of our policies got, have already been approved, right? And and, and so there's and, don't, and are not reflected in that. I think that was one of your first yeah. brushes. Mm -hmm. That's what I was sort of saying is like let Anthony sort of have a first cut at it to fix up the stuff that we don't need to waste much it's time. We know it's wrong. Maybe you can collect some things, and at that, and at some point, then we would have a meeting as a board and sort of try to work our way through some of the issues where really our input can be meaningful. Mm -hmm. I mean, not all of this is meaningful. So. I, you know, I guess I'm saying, okay, that Anthony, fix up, fix this. <laughs> so um, my question, Kathleen, what's the process for amending the bylaws? 
We'll figure that one out. Okay. <laughs> Maybe it's in the bylaws. I don't know. The answer to that is in the bylaws. Okay. Yeah. So, um, but I think this is a good time to do that. Mm -hmm. You know, you've got somebody new here who actually read them. In a while. I mean, not, you guys read them too, but I mean, it just sort of highlighted. And we have a new HR person who and can we have also an help. HR. Mm -hmm. So there's a That's lot of pieces there that um, we'll be able to look at and see what doesn't make any sense, what is important. And then, I mean, my instinct, which maybe isn't good, oh, well, then we'll have a committee, and well, the committee will study it. Let's let Anthony take a first crack at this, sort of maybe target January to think about it. And then once we sort of see what might be involved, decide what would be our process for looking at see whether it's really sort of ministerial there's not a lot but I do think there's some things like we just talked about the the wage issue that we should come to some understanding of how mm -hmm. if at all we intersect with that mm -hmm. yes the last full review of the policy manual um, occurred when Ellen Clark was director okay that's a while not that long ago. Um, well, not that ago. long. Um, and there has not been a thorough assessment of aligning the bylaws, the policy manual, and present practice, at least since Ellen left 